friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie. And let's get started. And today is the Easter Spring Mystery Box Challenge. Okay, so here is my box. I'm ready to open it up. There we go. All right, let's see what we've got here. And I don't know who this is from, but I'm excited. Okay, so here's a card. It says Jackie. Oh, I see something hilarious in there. <laughs> okay, it's a pretty spring card. And it says, Hi Jackie. I was so happy when I learned it was it was you I had I had in my mystery box challenge. You were so kind in helping me find challenges when I started my channel. Hope you like what I came up with. Can't wait to see what you create. Love and light D. It's designer's loft. Oh, this is from D, my friend D from Designer's Loft. She has a great channel. Great, great channel. Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness, love these. Oh, thank you. So far, it's looking great. <laughs> oh, okay, this pretty towel. Really pretty. Okay, a cross, a wooden cross. Some pretty, are these lilies? Yes, some Easter lilies. Girl, you're making it easy for me. Look at that. Some of this new purple vinyl paper from Crafter Square, Dollar Tree. Okay. Oh, girl, this is going to be a breeze. <laughs> oh, my goodness, some lights. LED light set. And some of the cross laser cut craft icons in the cross shapes. One of these super cute Bless This House hanger. So it's got a hanger and it's MDF. <laughs> okay, this one is going to be a challenge. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Magic Springs. So it's a slinky, right? Yeah, it's a slinky. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, D. Oh my goodness. We'll see what happens. <laughs> this is pretty. It's a hummingbird wind chime. I just, I just saw these today too at the Dollar Tree. Oh, look, it's got a little gem. I didn't even notice that. Ooh, some of this new ribbon. I've not seen this, D. It's like a Rick Rack. It's a pink Rick Rack. Ooh, I hope to find some of these and all the colors. It's great. And a wall sticker. It says, be patient, gentle, be humble, be loving. Ephesians 4-2. That is so cute. Okay, well, let me get crafting. For DIY number one. I'm going to begin with one of these MDF cutting boards that my friend Tammy from Happy Days Created sent me and I'm going to pop off the top and I'm going to take some paper towels and soak this up with some water that way I can remove the paper up top easily and I don't put anything in the center because the paper was removed when I removed the top. So I let it sit for about 30 minutes and now with my scraper I just scrape off all the paper it just comes off really easily. And I remove all the adhesive that's on there. It's like a water soluble adhesive. Clean it up and wipe it down until it's nice and clean. And now I'm ready to create something pretty with it. So now that I have it nice and clean, I'm going to take some Waverly Antique Wax. And I'm going to try this method that I found out by accident. I've never seen anybody else do it, but I figured it out by accident. So I'm going to do it on here. And I'm going to show you more than I usually show because I, to me it's new. So I'm just going to add some water to it and I'm just going to brush it up and down the whole part, the whole thing. And I'm going to take my heat gun and as I'm adding heat to dry it, I'm going to continue to brush up and down. And this kind of creates a faux wood kind of look. So if you can look, if you can see, it starts forming, it starts showing. And you can see it. It's looking like a real cutting board. <laughs> I thought that was so cool. You guys gotta let me know if you've seen this method before or not. But look at that. It looks just like a cutting board. And now I'm going to work on the top part of the cutting board. Remove the thumbtacks and soak up the top with some paper towels the same way. Remove all this extra paper till it's nice and clean. Wipe it down. Remove all that glue. And now I'm going to go in with the Folk Art Chalk Paint in the color White Adirondack. Give it a nice full coat. And I'm going to use my item number one, which are these beautiful spring rub-on transfers. I love these. They are, they are so beautiful. 
So I'm just going to remove this sheet and I'm going to use this whole piece because it almost fits on here perfectly. A little top of the S on spring kind of gets gets removed, but it's just a tiny little part. The, the majority of this whole sheet fits on there perfectly. So I thought, hey, that's going to be great. So I'm just going to rub it with my Cricut uh, scraper and just rub, rub, rub and start peeling up the sheet on top, the protective sheet. And as if, if I see some pieces not adhered, then I'll just keep scraping until it's on there, until I'm all done. So it looks like this. And now I'm taking two pieces of this lace ribbon and I'm going to frame this piece to help conceal the edges that are that didn't get any of the rub-on transfers. And I'm just going to use a little dab of glue on both ends, on both sides, until it looks like this, super cute. And now using a rubber mallet, I'm going to place these thumbtacks back on there until they look like this. Now I'm ready to adhere this decorative piece onto my faux cutting board. And I'm just going to douse it with lots of hot glue. Make sure it's going to be nice and secure on there. I don't want it to pop off because I'm definitely keeping this piece. I love it. I think it's so cute. And I'm just going to press it on there. Now once that's on there and set, now I'm going to take this burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to create a quick little bow. So I'm just going to snip off the excess that I don't need. And I'm going to cinch it in the center, crisscross it in the front, cinch it in the center, and take a piece of jute twine, wrap it around it, and take it to the back and secure it with a double knot until it's nice and tight and secure. And if your bow gets a little bit tweaked, no problem. You just tweak it back up after you're done cinching it and securing it. So see, this one got a little bit kind of tweaked out, but that's okay. It's an easy fix. And once I'm happy with this simple bow, then I'll go ahead and dovetail the ends to make it look more high end. And I'll do this to both tails, of course. Snip off the little ends. And then I'm ready to adhere this bow onto my faux cutting board, my little spring faux cutting board. So I just add a dab of glue and place it on the top. And now I'm gonna take a few sprigs of boxwood from Walmart and I'm just going to add a couple dabs of glue and place a couple of sprigs behind the bow, a couple of these, of these cute little flowers from the Dollar Tree on the front and a couple more little sprigs of the boxwood underneath the flowers just to give it a little bit more decor, more embellishments, because you know we love our embellishments, bows and embellishments. <laughs> so here it is, nice and ready. So now here I'm taking one of these Crafter Square easels and they're just made out of wood and I'm just going to set it on top and display it in my kitchen where it's going to look fantastic. And here's how it looks and the closer look at the final reveal. And this video is a part of the Easter Spring Mystery Box challenge and our gracious hostess is Tammy over at Happiness Created and she was sweet enough to get a nice group of us together to participate in this challenge and we each sent each other a box of 8 to 10 random items and we are to create with these 8 to 10 items and there's a playlist so when you're done watching my video please head on over to my description box and view the playlist. I'm excited to see what everybody created and you'll be able to see who I sent my box to and what I sent them. And now for DIY number two. I'm going to use my second item and this is the little towel, the kitchen towel. And I'm going to go in with these pom-poms in this yellow color. I think it matches this towel perfectly. And I'm just gonna add a dab of glue and using my detailed glue gun, I'm just gonna add a nice bead of glue all the way down the bottom edge and adhere this trim, this pom-pom trim all the way down. And then I do the same thing for the other side. So both sides will have this really cute little trim and I think this really makes the towel so cute. So once I get this done, I'll set it aside because this is going to be an, an embellishment for this DIY. So I'll go ahead and set that aside. And now I'm gonna work on item number three, which is the little metal hummingbird wind chime. And I'm just going to take my pliers, my needle nose pliers and remove the little bell and the little hanger up top. I don't, I'm not going to need them. And now I'm going to take my finger sander and I'm just going to rough up all the the surfaces so I'm going to paint them. So here I'm taking the Folk Art Enamel Paint in the color Cobalt, give it a full coat. And now I'm going to give it a nice top coat of this Dragonfly Glaze. It's a color changing top coat in the color Violet Blue Green Shift. 
and it has a really pretty shimmer to it so I just go ahead and do this whole piece in this manner and set it aside to dry look how cute and once it's dry then I go back in with my finger sander to rough up all the edges because it's looking a little too new and to give it a little bit more character and so I go ahead and go along all the edges and if there's a spot that I can't get to then I'll use my emery board and get those edges and now I just made a cute little jute twine bow and just place it under his neck a little dab of glue and adhere it onto there and look how cute and this will also be a cute little embellishment for this DIY so here I picked up this cute little wallflower basket from my local thrift store it's in pretty good shape so I'm going to take this folk art chalk paint in the color white Adirondack and my chunky chippy brush and I'm going to give this whole basket inside and out a nice distressed look so I'm just going to take my time and give this a nice thorough coating until it looks like this and now I can start to assemble my flower basket and so I'm going to add a piece of floral foam inside and I'm going to use item number four which are these pretty lilies and I'm going to snip them all off their base and I'm also going to go in with this berry pick and these peonies from Walmart and I also use these blue flowers as well but I don't show it right now so here I'm going to begin by placing my little towel in the basket and all the pom-poms will give it a decorative touch so I just get it to this point and now I can add my flowers just like this and now I want to go in with this really cute decor piece it's an MDF sign with a hook on the bottom so I take my mini screwdrivers and remove all the screws off the back and now I'm going to take my heat gun to soften up all the glue because I want to remove this frame so I take my scraper and wedge it in there and pop it all off as easily as possible and now I'm taking this hook putting a little bit of hot glue on it and I'm going to adhere it on the top part of this frame piece towards the back so the hook is kind of kind of like going over the back and once I get that on there then I'll take the little screws and secure the hook back on and now I'm ready to place my little frame back on so I just take this little frame it goes on there perfectly so I just add some hot glue do a few beads of glue around the perimeter of this square and just place it back on there hold it tight until the glue sets and this one is done I just kind of reconstructed it I guess kind of reconfigured it and now it just hangs on my basket so now I'm going to take some of this burlap ribbon and create another bow but I already showed you guys how to do it so I just made it really quick add a dab of glue and place it where the hook is on this MDF frame that says bless our house so here I'm using item number six and it's the little lights and I added batteries and the lights are blue and here I put everything together here's how it looks and a closer look at the final reveal DIY number three I'm going to begin with this egg shaped wood piece from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to do a chocolate project and I have this really cute chocolate Easter egg with all these embellishments so I'm going to fuzz my transfer a good six times because it's a brand new transfer and I'm going to place it on my egg trying to line it up as best I can and I'm going to go in with six different colors ocean mist sunny side bright white wisteria eucalyptus and marvelous and I'm just going to have fun take my time and try to give it a nice unique look and make it look cute so here I'm removing the transfer and look how adorable and if I miss any spots I'll just go in with my paintbrush and some more of the chalk paste until it looks good so here I'm taking some Waverly chalk paint on the color celery and doing the back part of it because this DIY will be double sided and I'll go in with the de wall decal like this and some of this rickrack trim and I'm just going to adhere some of this trim on the top portion of this egg on both sides to kind of create a hanger but yet give it a cute look for the top and so I'll just do a little dab of glue on both sides and it's just a little hanger so now once that's done I found these really cute gingham colored ribbons from the Dollar Tree and this one's in a lilac and so I'm doing a cute little bow and this one will go on this back part the back side of this egg to kind of go with the flowers that are in this wall decal so place it here on the very top and then I'll flip over the egg and on the back on the front side which is the front side I'll add some of the green and white 
gingham ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And I'll create another cute little bow, add a dab of glue, and place it on the top of this side of the egg. And look how adorable! And this is the front side, and this is the back side, and the closer look at the final reveal. For DIY number four, I'm going to take this wood round, and I purchased this at Walmart. It's made by Plaid. And I'm going to go in with the Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Plaster. And I'm going to take some painter's tape and create a line. And I'm going to paint the bottom part with this Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Celery. And remove the painter's tape. Then I decided to do a second part on the bottom. So I go ahead and do the same thing. I place the painter's tape on there and go back in with the Celery Chalk Paint. And now it's ready to go. I think it's really cute. And now I'm going to use item number nine, which is the purple vinyl. And I'll create decals that say, welcome spring. And so I go ahead and get it ready to place it on my small wood round. Now I noticed the W on welcome was a little bit further from the word, the rest of the word. So I added the W first, then lined up the rest of the word, used my scraper and peeled off the rest of the word until it's nice and pretty. And I go ahead and do the same thing with spring. And now I'm going to embellish it with this burlap bow that I made and I had placed a little piece of boxwood and a little piece of this lilac flower and some more boxwood on the bottom just to embellish it some more just little sprigs of it here and there I think little sprigs make it look a little bit cuter than the real big pieces of sprigs and I'm going to secure the tails to the wood round that way they're not flapping around all over the words and here it is here's how it looks closer look at the final reveal the DIY number five it's time to do the slinky <laughs> oh the slinky so go ahead and remove it and play with it for a minute while I'm trying to get inspiration then I decide okay I'm gonna cut this in half so I take my scissors my EMT shears and just go ahead and just snip it off in half and now I'm going to go in with these two empty ribbon spools I'm going to utilize them they were in my stash and I'm going to wrap a portion of the slinky around the inside of this spool and this portion will be the top of my cute little flower pots. So once I get that done, then I'll set this down on the table and take my hot glue and secure everything in place with glue all the way around the inside diameter and up the sides as well. That way the slinky stays nice and sturdy, nice and still. And I'll go ahead and do this the second one as well. So I get them both done. And now I'm going to take another couple spools, empty spools, and I'm, these are going to be the bottoms of my pots, my little floral pots. And I'm just going to adhere them with some hot glue and I'll do this to both. And now I'm going to go in with some of this really cute floral ribbon. It's new, it's an embossed ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And it almost has that birch wood look. But first I'm going to give this a nice coat of paint. And once they are dry, now I can go in with the ribbon. And it's almost like a paper, so you can tear it. So here I'm going to figure out where I need to tear it and the two sections and once I get it torn then I kind of figure out how much I need of it tear off the pieces I don't need and add some glue and adhere the pieces onto the slinky that's going to become a cute little pot for my flowers for my faux flowers my silk flowers so here I go ahead and did one section here's the second section and adhere that piece in place and now here they are both done and now I'm going to go in with some of this metal ribbon from the Dollar Tree to give it another texture to give it a metal element to this piece just to make it more ornate and I think this ribbon is really pretty very ornate so I go ahead and use my E6000 because it is metal so I'll add a little bit of E6000 to the top end of this piece and add some hot glue on the two sides just to give it th that immediate hold wrap it around the bottom of my spool this is the spool at the bottom and I'm going to secure it with some more of the E6000 and some more of the hot glue and then I'll hold it in place with some of these thumbtacks that I had and since this bottom piece is a cardboard because it's a spool then the thumbtacks go right in and it holds everything in place and these are just temporary just till it dries and I do this to both and once they're dry then I remove the pins they come right out and I'll do the same thing to the top 
and now I have them ready and here's my little plants that I found at the Dollar Tree they're hydrangeas and I just stick them inside and that is it super cute and they are done look how cute so ornate a little bit of glam so here's how they look and a closer look at the final reveal and now my last two items I'm going to save them for my Saturday video it's the second annual he has risen collaboration because I already used 10 items and now we're at the final reveal let me know what you guys think Well, let's take a moment and thank Tammy over at Happiness Created for getting us all together and hosting this challenge. It was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun creating for it. And don't forget to check out her channel. She is a fantastic crafter, as well as Dee from Designers Loft, who sent me my box. She is fantastic, a good friend. So happy that she sent me my box. I had a lot of fun creating with it. And if you want to see who I sent my box to, Please head on over to my description box, follow the playlist link, just click play and enjoy the playlist. It's going to be full of humor and cr creativity and so much fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you want to see more, definitely subscribe. And until my next video, stay healthy, safe and strong and have a great, great day. Bye bye.